They're all over there, like Mickey, Tony, Ray. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get wrapped up in their air. They're bullshit, Harry. We've got too much going on right now. Yeah. I'm going to wash my hands, of course. Then hey, I got clean me. dick. Oh my god, are we gonna have to go figure this shit out? Look at these look at these gangbangers. Tony Tony says he's not a gang. Look at this guy. This is definitely some gang shit. Shut up. Don't say that. I mean, this is that look at Ray, look at this look, look at this. <laughs> definitely some gang shit. What's going on, guys? Hey Buddha Harry, good to see you. Hey Ray, we're here to talk, buddy. You free? Yeah, I'm free. Sorry, just was a lot of shit just hey, started. Good up. to see you, Mr. Lang. What's up, Goofy? What's <laughs> up, Harry? What's up, Tony? Good to see you. Goofy. Hey, I might hey, need that. Crane helicopter. told me about uh, you tweeting some stuff out. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Ray, whenever That's you're ready, me and Harry will speak with you in your office. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, what'd right. you say, Tony? Tony? You the... I might need that helicopter. You ain't getting that helicopter. Hey, listen. <laughs> Mary pulled my card today, okay? What does that mean? Hold your well, card. Listen, some shit happened last night, I mean, okay? Where, uh, you know, bottom line, she tried to come uh, at one of my boys, right? My boys put her down, of course. Um, we had a meeting about it. She wants to go after one of, you know, she wants my boy in return, wants me to hand him over. I was like, you know, you're the one who came at him first. You know what I mean? I'm not fucking doing that. I believe my boy. Not on it. And, you know, we're talking one on one. This literally just finished 10 minutes ago. And, I'm like, I'm not handing them over. I ain't fucking doing it. You know what I mean? I believe my boy, if it finds out that he was lying, then I'll take care of it my fucking self. You know what I mean? Uh, but I'm not handing them over. And that's just that. We get to talking a little bit more. And then she's like, oh, so this is, uh, this is how it is. You just let your boys roam around. You're not a leader. You don't, you don't take lead. You don't you know, lead your guys. You just let them do whatever they want. You don't call the shots. And I was like, oh, you want me to call the shots? I'll call the fucking shots if that's what you want. And she was, start, you know, started talking a little bit more. So I just got pissed off and I was like, all right, fine. I'll call the shots. So then I left. So now I'm getting my boys armed up. They're going to challenge her to a 1v1 like Ben Diesel and the Drift King did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, Tony, why don't you do that? Pink slip. Or was it Ben Diesel or was the other guy? Uh, Brian? Paul, I forgot his Paul name. Walker? Brian? Yeah. Oh, the other guy. The other guy. Uh, the guy with the question. The fucking guy everybody forgot awesome. about. Yeah, the, that guy. You know what? I'll say it. Tokyo Drift would have been the best one if they just. I, I just didn't really. Tokyo like Drift is actually been. dog shit. It's the the what's it called? The Mandela effect. We all thought it was amazing, yeah. but go rewatch it and you'll see it's really bad. Gonna... Well, I don't know what to fucking do now <laughs> because Fuck you, Lang, don't ruin my childhood. I'm just here's saying. I rewatched it a couple <laughs> months ago. I think with Tony actually, and it was just yeah. We then we then it was yeah, really yeah, bad. <laughs> I would race her, but it seems like she just wants me to do fucking one plus one equals fucking two. You get what I'm saying? Oh, what does that mean? Well, what she wanted to do she wants she's to basically basic calling arithmetic? me a fucking pussy and I don't lead my fucking boys and I just let them roam around and do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, who gives a shit what people say? Yeah, oh. but I'm going to fucking put her down for that. You didn't even hear the other yeah, part. Put her down by obliterating her in a 1v1 pink slip style. Yeah, I like that idea, by the way, but she literally said she was going to threaten Redline and Tony with every other gang she could get her hand on. Yeah, the fucking girl uh, like sucks the most really? cock from the fucking PM. You can't even call a fucking puppet yeah, to take care of her fucking problems and immediately runs to a fucking gang. What gang does she run to? I don't fucking know. Uh, I mean, would be... apparently fucking Hydra. Hydra she's a dumb kid. She's, she's like 19 or something, you know, she, you know. She's she's only Tony, nineteen. She's like a speedy. Ball, she's only nineteen. You know, don't got a lot of experience. Tony, all I'm trying to fucking say, she uh, she's always talking about fucking puppet this, puppet that. It's kind of funny, you know, when fucking shit hits the fan. Where the fuck's the puppet now? Where's the fucking where's the the crazy ass fucking Mary that she's always fucking talked about? You know, fucking Shinigami this, Shinigami that. Where the, where's those fucking threats with the, the fucking racing or fucking boosting or any of these fucking shits? You know, car bombs or anything. Why are you running into a fucking game already? You know what I mean? Just all the right thing, Tony. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Well, she what, pulled you my fucking hand. what does that mean? She, you know, she's calling me out. She's trying to call me a fucking pussy. So if this is what she wants. Then sure. Tony, the you have a cargo car? bob. Why don't you go around and you pick have up a cargo bob? Yeah. Yeah. yeah why does. don't you go around How? and pick up yokai cars and <laughs> drop them? 
uh, from the sky. Honestly, that is a great idea. What happens if you drop a car from the sky? Does it immediately just break down? The blow up? I, wait, you're dropping a car from the sky. It's going to destroy the car. I, Obviously. Yeah, listen, before, uh, yes. this is some crazy shit, but me, Ray, and Harry, we got to go to the office. We got to talk about some crazy shit, too. Yeah, gentlemen. You guys don't mind. Go all cover right, your well, crazy shit. Good luck, boys. Thank yeah. you. Guys. I'll see you guys later, all right? Take it easy. Hey, hey, hey Tony, listen, if you shit, need the helicopter, I, I can... Let you use it as a, you can't, you, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can like show off with it, but you can't use it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I'll think about it. Yeah, like intimidation it. type oh, of tactic. Right, yeah. right, 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 yeah. right. All right. I appreciate it, brother. I love you guys. Laying between your probably 30 meetings today, right, I also need to meet with you about something. I'm when you can pencil me in, fucker. have a good day. Uh, yeah, give me a call. Sorry. This is the show with Ray's pressing. Let's go to your office, right? I right, get you, gentlemen. Let's go. Please take the mask off. Come on. Oh, yeah. Good to see you, boys. See you, Raymond. Good to see ya. I actually like this song. That's the vibe. Well, the vibe quickly changed in the song. I don't know if it says the vibe anymore. Gentlemen. Raymond. Buddha. Good to see you, boys. Good to see you, too, my man. How you been? Honestly, with all this happening, it could be a little bit better, but I'm just doing me. I, I need to ask before we get into this. Is this meeting about G or the Simones? Yeah, of course it is. It's been longer than 24 hours. It has been. Listen. I don't know what the fuck is going on with G. I have not seen that man in almost a week, whatever it might be. If that man, if you haven't seen him and he hasn't departed from the city via flight to where the fuck it is, which I don't think he would do. I told you guys, I think he would say bye to everyone before he would do that. If he hasn't done that, I, I don't know where he's been. Potentially in hiding, potentially fearing for his life. I, I don't know. But, okay. ca but I can promise you both, I absolutely promise, that I have not been in contact with him. Right, Ray. All right. Went on to Simone's. Why'd you bring that up? Well, the last time I spoke to you was with the meeting with the Nicholas, and I told you guys what was going on with that. I don't know if you were able to listen to the whole recording, but as I said, it was pretty, uh, pretty convincing that it seems like he wants to destroy your next mayorship run. Uh, yeah. He wants to form an entire coalition to do it. Yeah, it's funny. A guy claims, uh, for the guy to talk down to me and claim I have absolute no power, it's uh, very interesting to see him scramble and try to get uh, as many people to have his back as possible. For a guy who's uh, got no power. Yeah, he mentioned a few things about you. He said, Ray, Buddha's mayorship was won by a mere 100 votes over his second opponent. Ray, he would get destroyed if everyone could, you know, work together and if I worked against him. Ray, I got him single-handedly 50-plus votes. That's already half the votes that he would have needed to be in first place. Yeah, only, you know, only, only 100 a votes, you know, for a campaign that <laughs> this guy's a fucking moron. Only a hundred, yeah. Only a hundred votes. That's nothing. That's a little number, you know what I mean? Yeah, but he was interested, like I said, that he wanted to form a puppet to do his deeds. He said that he was being... I guess you could say he's too powerful to be a mayor. I don't know what he means. I think he has too much going on. You know, too, too, you know the, the hospital, shit like that. <laughs> what powers he got? Men. He 
He's too busy uh, torturing Cleo. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, that's his own words. I didn't even know he was torturing Cleo. I don't even know what the fuck happened to Cleo. I thought she died. Yeah, well, you know. It's what it is, but... Listen, I'm not worried about uh, Nic Nicholas Simone running against me or any lackey he puts in, in, in the campaign. I'm not worried about that at all. That's fair. I just want you to know that he is intending to supply those that assist him with means that only the Simone brothers can assist with. That's what he told me. Those are the exact words. Wait, repeat that? Ray, Sorry, you, I didn't understand. Can you repeat that? Ray, like I said, those who assist him will have the full backing of the Simone brothers. That are the exact words he said. Yeah, but what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. He said only things that they can get, uh, he will supply people with. Wow, the full so, backing of the two Simone brothers. That's a, that's a lot of power. <laughs> I will be honest. If he went to other people that were not me, would that would they, what he said to me, it would be pretty convincing. Now you obviously know I'm full for you, and I'll have your back no matter what. Your family, and you deserve that position if it's so be what you want. You know, I don't know if you're running for mayor again. Of course, I, I assume am. you are. Okay. I'm just going to state this right now, very clearly to you both. You have Russ's full backing, and I will make sure. Even if the boys don't, you know, maybe they don't want to vote, whatever it is. That you have my vote and anyone who I can get dictate to vote over. Okay. Here's the, here's the thing, Ray. Uh, the people who back me will be remembered. And the people that don't, won't. Uh, we got a lot of, we got a lot of uh, cards in our pockets that are going to be playing here very, very fucking soon. And, uh, you know, people are going to regret it. Uh for trying to uh, take us down for absolutely no reason other than just to back the Simones and this fake power they think they got. Yes, and I hope I've demonstrated that I have got your back, no matter what. You're thick and thin. I know Even you do. When right, I'm right. I don't question no. that. I know you do. Okay. Listen. But uh, who? do you know if he's spoken to other people? I would assume so, as he said he was going to go around and convince people. Let's just... Let's just already state that Seaside is most likely going to be convinced to vote for him. I'll talk to Benji about yeah, well, it. Seaside is not a threat. Listen, uh, we will have the backing of a lot of people. The, only, the biggest threat is probably the HOA, and that's it. HOA? Yeah. Um, I have good news. As HOA have Lilith. I'm not sure if you're aware about Lilith. Do you know her connection with the Simones? Uh, no, not really. Nicholas Simone is her ex. It seems as if they've, uh, they formed a little bit of a negative relationship over that breaking up. Yeah, but, uh, so, Andy is apparently like their sister now. Andy's their sister? What? Oh, you didn't hear about this? No, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, apparently she's, uh, the Simone's sister now. Keep but that between us, right? Everything in this room, it, it stays here between yeah, the three yeah. of us. Of course. No, 100%. I mean, you're, you're already aware of what happened with Dandy and Denzel, Denzel right? Uh, yeah, I've been made aware of that a couple of days ago. Okay. She told me to tell you guys, by the way. She said, Ray, uh, you should tell the family this, and she still considers us family. So I hope you know that. Uh, I mean, the thing is, is I like Andy. It's just hard to trust her right now. Well, it's not even hard to it's trust her. It's just when it comes to politics, you got to just assume everybody's against you. That's a good you know I mean? way to handle it. I just, I've always seen her as family, and she is second in command for each way, so it's nice to have her nearby, you know? Yeah. I mean, Andy, I feel like, would do anything if we requested. So just, I guess, keep that in mind. Although I mean, I we'll see when it comes it. down to it. The thing is, is uh, I just love seeing... Uh, nothing, no, nothing gets my cock hard, hard more than seeing the Simone scramble and panic and in fear. It shows me how little power they really do have. Yeah, go to, to go to my brother, one of my best friends. And le unless this is some giant, some giant uh, misdirection, because it still makes no sense to me why he goes 
to you to talk about this. He, he's, he's very aware of how close we are. Here's the thing about Nicholas. Because of the relationship that Seaside and Rust have had recently, he, he understands that and is trying to use it. Rust and Seaside are the closest alliance that is currently formed between any gang and my gang. Yeah, but do you really believe that Nicholas Simone thinks he could convince you to vote against your brother or go against your brother? And he, uh, like, do you really believe he believes that? He can't be that stupid. Here's the way he started the conversation. Ray, I do not come to you as Seaside x Rust. I come to you as Nicholas Simone, the man who has helped you in the past. I don't know if you remember this, but Rust was under investigation for the warehouse being burned and a, and a lot of really, really negative things. We were out hiding. It was, it, was a, it was a whole crazy shit going on. We were being investigated. Each individually rated everything. Nicholas went to me, got me burner phones, got me everything, helped me out. And, he, and he's trying to use that as leverage in the future, which obviously is nothing to compare to what you've done for me in the past. Yeah, but now, it, I don't, it just doesn't... I don't think Harry, you believe this that. shit, Harry? Uh, yeah, I think the, uh, I think I have the guys like scrambling, you know, panicking, just trying to claw onto anyone he can, or, you know, it's like a, it's like a big kind of diversion. Yeah, because what he's I trying mean, to do is like, it's like me going to Michael and be like, listen, I need your help to take down Nicholas. Like, why would I ever <laughs> do that? Like, that's what he's trying yeah. to do. Maybe because he has seen that we haven't been in contact very much. You know? Yeah, but still, it doesn't matter. How we would you talk unless he's you know? stupid to recklessly assume that we're just not brothers anymore? Like, I just don't know if he's that stupid. That's true. Honestly, I'm I'm with your first take, Buddha. I'm of the mentality that he is trying to get every everyone he can that is on the positive side of him. If he is allied or he is close with any gang leader, he will try to approach them. Now, obviously, you already know the Hydra's out of that picture, so he needs anyone else he can get. You know. So he's got he's got seaside, he's pot he potentially has HOA, and then the hospital. Let's see what I got. I got uh, a majority of the PD, uh, the entirety of the guild, the entirety of Redline, the entirety of Rust, the entirety of the Saints, the entirety of most small people that uh, Bobis knows, and that's probably everybody in the fucking city. Uh, let's see who. I mean, the list goes on. The, the entirety of uh, Gulag Gang, the entirety of Larry and his boys uh, that work at the Lucky Plucker, the entirety of uh, Chang Gang here soon, probably the entirety of Hydra here soon as well. He's he's not going to be able to compete with me no matter how hard he tries. He's been spent. He just recently started doing this. I've been doing this for months. That's true. I don't know why. Hey, why is he starting now? Why now? Because uh, I'm exposing him for the coward that he is. And so he wants to run as mayor? That's, I don't know. Can, I, don't I don't know. And like I said, the fact that he approached me and he said all those things to me was pretty crazy. The puppet thing? Oh. What do you now mean the puppet thing? The thing that he wanted to insert the puppet into mayorship so he can control him from the scenes? Yeah, but he's not going to be able to do that. Listen, we've been doing this since the dawn of elections. Nobody oh, realizes I that. Have. I know we have. I'm very well aware of that. Besides Andy, every single, uh, every single, even Andy, really to regard, uh, and, and ex excluded Abdul, but every other mayor has been a mayor. We planted there. A hundred percent. I'm well aware. And people don't understand. And, uh, we've won almost every election that's happened in this city. We know <laughs> how to how to win an election. And the, the most recent election, none of us care to do it. Now that you add motivation back to that, like we're we're gonna destroy everybody. Oh yeah, it's like Nicholas is feeling his own uh, demise. To be honest. It's it's just I don't know. I, I, listen, I'm not bothered by it. Okay, I know we started this conversation about G. Like I said, I'm going to keep you updated every step of the way. That man will be in your hand the next time I see him. I don't think he's run away yet. He hasn't said bye to everyone. I feel like he's a very family man. He will be in your hand the next time I see him. And if I ever even receive slight contact from him. Anything, a text message, phone call, anything, I will let you know immediately. Just remember the plan I gave you, right? If you want to also go with that other plan. The plane? We can as well. Yeah. Yeah, the plane with the, yeah. That's a good idea. Like, I, I just got an important text link. Can I, can I sidebar one second? Yeah. Hold on, Ray, sorry. No worries. And Harry, I do want to hear your, your, uh, what you think of all this too. Yeah. I, 
think there's a uh, remember that remember the conversation we had with uh with Tony yeah at the observatory yeah well, I just you know I think there's bigger things at play here and I think you should what what do you think about you know pulling the plug on this G baby shit why? I, Tell I me think why. It, I think it's in your best interest. I mean, I, I think you know why. To not kill him? Yeah, I think you should just fucking leave him at this point. Yeah, I mean, re revenge is a dish best served cold. I, I don't mind waiting six months to grab him that motherfucker and kill him his ass. Yeah, and I think the best thing you to do is say, you know what? I, I got too much on my plate right now, like, or like just something and just let this guy, you know, and, and raise him and tell all his fucking boys, you know, that he's, you know, there's, there's been a change of plan. Everything's good. And they'll actually vote for you. Right. And then we grab think? that motherfucker after we win the second term, yeah? Yeah, like fucking, I don't care if it's like a year, you know? All right. As long as you promise me, Harry, we got him like a fish. Well, sure. the time is right. I just think, like, I, I'm not stupid. Like, I don't. I, I don't know what Ray's playing right now. I can't seem to work it out. I just. After Tony came to us and, and what I'm hearing now, and I, I just don't want to, I don't want to do this anymore. I, I, I think there's more important shit to sort out. All right, Harry. I'll take but that advice. If you want to. Oh, no, listen, listen, this is, that, Harry, this is why I need you in my life. All right. This is what I need to hear. I think it's a good call. Okay. I think it's a good call. Because they ain't voting for you otherwise. No, you're you not know, wrong. If, if, if Ray tells them to vote for you, he can't, he can't watch the yeah, vote. Yeah, he, he can't watch the you. vote. You're right. Right. Raymond, yes, we've come to a decision. What is this? Uh, he baby can live. What? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, we're not going to go after him anymore. All that I ask is that G-Baby oh, gives me an apology, admits to what he's done, and uh, he can live. May I ask why the sudden change of heart? Uh, we just have a lot going on right now. Um, like a lot. And the last thing I want to do is uh, put too many skeletons in my closet. Are you and, sure? Uh, yeah, even... even it, even though what G Baby did was fucked, I think people even just seeing how angry I got is good enough for me. We got okay. people coming at us from every fucking angle, right? I, you know, it's, it's getting out of hand. I do want to say something. You are still fine to go after him if you would like. Uh, we will not. Like, okay. Yeah. He could live. Just tell him he owes me an apology, and I'm good with that. I understand. I'll let him know if I even do get in contact with him. As I said, I have not been able to be, you know, I haven't even had a text message from him. So. Well, I mean, like I said, if he ends up contacting you or anything, uh, you know, tell him we're all good. I just need an apology and that's it. Okay. No matter what, if I get a call with him or text, I'll still tell him to call you. And get in contact with you, okay? Yeah, that's it. Just want an apology. Do you, do you not care about the tracker anymore? Uh, no, you can throw that away as well. It's... It's not even anymore. Understood. All right, I got you, but I, I mean, I just want you to know if you're, if you're being sincere about this, both of you, I... We're being 100% sin sincere, right? I'm not going to go back on this after all we've been through for absolutely no reason. You know what I mean? No, I, I mean, I appreciate that. That's... I do appreciate it. I, I, I will say another thing. He will still be punished. Not only for doing what he did to you guys, but because he didn't listen to me. I mean, that's yeah. hey, that's 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 your decision. I mean, that's 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 not us anymore. That's out of our hands. You know what I mean? Understood. But uh, for us, we don't care anymore. Well, Can't keep I'd... coming back here. You know, it's just like it's too much going on. You know, than than this just being left. You know, pending. It's it's not worth it. Yeah, we just, yeah, we just want to drag I mean, this on. We got so many other th priorities right now that, uh, like, I, I'm not trying to be, you know, this is the, the lowest of the low on the on the totem pole. Just, 
compared to what we're dealing with right now. So uh, well, we don't want this to think. be something that's just dragged out. A lot of people in Rust will probably appreciate that. I just want you to know. Yeah, just uh, let the boys yeah. know, you know, let, let G, G Baby know that, uh, you know, we were heated, we were pissed, uh, we were ready to act, had a few days to calm down, and now uh, we're good. Okay. I'll inform everyone. Uh, when I ever get the chance to speak to them, I'll let them know to call you and apologize. Perfect. And I'll do anything else I can. You know, obviously punish them in the place. I just, uh, I really do appreciate that gentleman. It makes a lot. So good, right? And uh, Harry, I was going to ask you what your thoughts about everything were. You know, with the Michael Simone, or sorry, Nicholas Simone and G's thing, but yeah. We haven't had the chance to speak very much, to be honest. Well, uh, I haven't even met the M Simones before, so, you know, I kind of stay well out of it, you know. I'm, uh, you know. The fucking mouse died, man. I'm just here for Lang. Understandable. Yeah. And I, uh, I appreciate you for always having his back, my friend. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, I guess, move on from the G thing, no matter what. It seems as if the uh, Simone brothers contacted me quite a bit. I will keep you guys updated. I, uh, I don't know how the, the whole thing is going to go. And if there's any more information you guys need about anything else, don't forget, I got you guys back. Uh, yeah, I mean, right. We always have your back. You know, you're a brother. So uh, let me know anything uh, yeah. else that uh, the Simones say. But listen, just don't believe everything they say. Yeah. They're like, they got a lot of bark. You know what I mean? Very little bite. Uh, and you know, I will uh, obviously be wary nowadays. And I want to yeah. say something else, uh, Buddha, I guess, with the business stuff. You said after the whole G situation is taken care of, we could talk about the uh, the other things. You know, business. Uh, the, the uh other shit you know do you still want to have a conversation about the the other shit yes all i ask is just you give me a couple of days because i got so much shit piling up right now with the simones and all this shit and i i'm not really focused on business right now uh, that's kind of coming secondary uh, give me a couple of days and once things have settled down we can talk about all that shit how about that yeah you know what i'm referring to though right the the conversation we had the other day about the uh the rooster shit uh no what are we talking about the bench conversation you said uh, you said we'd have after we're done with the g shit uh yeah what did you want to talk about that is there any way i don't know if it's i don't know if you're involved in all that well here's the thing like we don't that. have a bench at roosters <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> you don't yeah you get what i'm saying Kind of, not particularly. Right, we don't have a bench at Rooster's Rest. Oh, I get it. It's okay. Yeah. I, under I think I understand. It's not yours, I see. Okay. I, I, I appreciate that. But uh, what did oh. you, what, 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 uh, just tell me what you want. I was interested in working in the manufacturing of weapons. That's at the end of the day, if if I could somehow work my way towards that, I would, I would love it. So why don't you just take Cy Carter's bench? Well, he's in jail for terrorism right now, and I was trying to push for that, but it seems as if Cy Carter cut that off. Cy told uh, me that he doesn't want to work with me, and that uh, the whole Michael Simone thing, he can, he said, fuck off with that because of what McGregor did. What did McGregor do? He robbed the gun. That's it. I'm not even kidding you. And the funny thing is, Sai said, is Sai, here's the thing about Sai. He flips on a dime. One day he'll tell me he wants to work with me. The next day he'll say he won't. Why would I want to work with someone or have their bench working alongside them when he flips on me one day, one day and the other? Yeah, but I'm confused. Didn't you have a key to this bench? I talked to Michael Simone about that, and he said that key's useless. Huh? Apparently the bench was moved. It was disposed. Also, why didn't you, uh, uh, Ray? Why didn't why didn't you? Um, exactly speak what Michael to Simone told me. Oh, well, I'm, I'm lost. So you had, so that key didn't work anymore. No, 
this is what Michael Simone told give me, me. Give me the Ray. full story. I need, I need full context on this. I got brought into a meeting with Cy Carter and Michael Simone. Michael told me, Ray, that key that you had does not work anymore. That crate that was at Tony Corleone's farm was moved. And the key is obsolete. So my key, whatever it is that I gained, was useless. And he said, the only way that you can get to Bench is if uh, he just needs some time. Uh, something along the lines of Cy Carter. So I would potentially be sharing a bench with Cy. But Cy, as soon as he heard about that, got really antsy about it. He didn't want to work with me. It seems as if he wants his own bench, you know. But yeah, but I swear he, he told me that, that you, you used that key and you've seen the bench, right? Yes, I used the key. I went inside. There was a bench in there. But I could not do anything with it. I went there a few days. Oh, there, had, there has to have been multiple keys then, because how, how the fuck would they access that? Yeah, there was probably multiple keys, and it was moved. And I was told that my key, it was useless now. And this is from Michael Simone himself. So I don't know. Damn, they fucking bamboozled the fuck out of you. Or you should have you held that shit down, kept eyes on that shit 24-7. <laughs> I'm not joking. Yeah, um, it's, it's all good. Uh, I'm not really sure all the details about it, but uh, at least he's trying his best to... I don't know if he's trying, but he's trying to see if he can get me another thing going with that. That's what I was trying to talk to you about. He said that he can potentially get me a bench. <sighs> I mean, Ray, I'm not going to lie. That was your best opportunity. It was, yes. And I was told that it was, a, it was useless. It was obsolete. There, there has to have been multiple keys. I would have, you should have kept guys on that shit 24-7. Yeah, it doesn't help that Cy called me and said, hey, Ray, uh, you check again for that, that crate. And when the next time we checked it, it was gone. You, you do realize that's like, that's what the Simones do, right? They kind of drag people along with like false promises. That's what yeah, that's literally, that's literally their whole... Source of like power is giving false promises, a carrot on the stick, and you're constantly chasing after it. Well, I'll have Damn, I feel bad for Ray, Jeff. For him to get anything from me. He's just saying he's going to help me. He's not asking me of anything. Yeah, but I think he's, he's, I think he's leading you on that so he can gain that yes. trust and build that friendship naturally. I think you're right about that because it does seem like he needs my help with something else. So we'll see. And whatever it is, he said he was going to give me details about it through a future call. See, I have his number of his numbers of his uh, burner phone, too, that he utilizes now. It's a new one. Now, the thing is... Give me that number. You want that number? I need that number. I need that number, right? Okay. Hey, Pred, I'm still in the meeting. I have to call you back. All right. I'll call you again you in another hour. All right. Sorry about that. That's all right. Bye. Uh, and this is his guarantee. This is his burner. It is, but I, I think I'm the only person who has the phone number to this. It's a new one. I need this number, and Ray, you have to know that I'm working with a detective who's going to know this number. So do not text anything incriminating to this number. But I'm calling it then. Calling it is I've fine. They can't it. prove anything that you talk to this guy about. Don't give them any evidence. You know what I, you know what I mean? It's not about what they know. It's about what they can prove. Okay. Um, just, just keep in mind that I'm actively calling it. That's fine. Uh, do not text it to me. I'm not going read to I'll just read it out to you. Second. Okay. When are we ready? I'm ready. Yep. Six two eight. Six seven seven. Seven zero zero one. And as I said, this is a new burner phone that he got just to contact me. I might be the only person who's ever called him on this. Why? Why are they so close to you? I don't know. I have told you legitimately everything. I'm not leaving any details out of it. I promise you. I don't know what it is. It seemed like he wanted to call me, and he was in a rush to try to contact me through a means. He said, "Do you have a burner phone?" I said, "No." said, I will go work on getting one. And he got one. And he contacted me through it. So this is a new burner phone.
Ray, you have to trust me here. I do. I'm just, I, as if I'm the only person that's calling that phone and it's given to a detective, how does that look, you know? I need you to trust me. Okay. This is right. Here's the thing. What? I don't know if this is insulting, but you think, I think you think the Simones have a lot more power and people than they really do have. Understandable. Nobody gives and a fuck I... about the Diamond Dogs. Nobody gives a fuck about the Simones. Seaside is probably the only organization they're close with that has a lot of merit. And, and that's as far as it goes. Hydra wants to take them down. They were snitching on them all over Twitter all fucking day. I'm sure Chang Gang, uh, they're aligned with Hydra. They're, they're peanut butter and jelly, so they probably feel the same. Every uh, group that I associate with feels the absolute same. Like, these guys... Do you, do you, do you get what, why I'm trying to go for it, though? With him? I, I understand that because, uh, you're, you're keeping an opportunity Hydra. open, but he's, he's, filling you, he's filling you with false promises, right? I promise you that he is. Uh, no, no, I agree with you, but the reason I am still adamantly going for it is, is because Sai keeps tipping. He keeps tipping that he might give me access to his bench. Now, I'm going to say this straight up. If I get access to Sai Carter's bench, I'm going to be very smart about it. That is why he's essentially opening the door. Michael Simone is opening the door to Sai Carter that I might get access to Sai's bench. If you bench. genuinely believe that... You take that, and then you kill Cy Carter, and you obtain that bench. Okay. That is my best Here's advice to you. If I get my hands on that bench, I'm going to have a meeting with you. And I will figure out what to do from there. I think you Same. take it for yourself. You have the, all the power, right? They have none. Stop thinking you have no power. They have none. All they can provide... It, it, is false promises and uh, shiny toys here and there. Uh, that's nothing, Ray, and you know that. No, I know. And I know I have power. I see what's around me every day. It's ridiculous what I have nowadays. But I just need to make sure I make the right move. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to destroy the Diamond Dogs yet. I. I don't know. I think the minute you get access to that bench, you do everything in your power to secure it. Okay. As long as I don't destroy my relationship with Seaside, that's the only thing. I mean, obviously, that phone call with The, the thing is, I, I'm going to be honest. Seaside is going to get to a point where they're going to have to choose between the Simones or more than half the city. But that's just the reality. Uh, and, Ray, you're, you're going to have to be made aware of that as well. If you, uh, if you end up wanting to back the Simones, you're going to be going up against a lot of people. I will not back the Simones. You already know that you're back no matter what. Just because the Simones are on Seaside does not mean anything. They themselves cannot convince me of all of Seaside. Does that make sense? Now, obviously, what do you if mean? I lost my... If Michael or Nicholas Simone approach me and they try to convince me to do something, like have all of us vote for them, I will not do it just because it's them, just because they're part of Seaside. Yeah, but you have to be careful. Don't, don't think that don't think that Seaside and these people won't try to fuck you over. They could be doing it already, and we just don't know. None of this makes sense, why they trust you so much. Uh, even Benji, of all people, knows how far our history goes, right? Yeah, I know, but here's the thing, Buddha. We've lost... Rust has lost all of its close allies. We've lost GG. We lost Vagus. We lost Mandem. We've lost everything. I mean, Mandem, where the fuck they've been? GG, where the fuck they've been? Vagos, where the fuck they've been? Yeah, I know. It just hurts to lose people that are close to you. Yeah, but you don't need alliances like that, right? Where have these people been? Look, look at look what you got downstairs. Half these gangs don't got that anymore. That's true. This place is ridiculously populated. Obviously, uh, don't get me wrong. Play smart. Keep your uh, keep your your cards close to your chest. But uh, you know, just just be aware of the shit you're getting into. Anyways, we've been here for too long. I got to speak like fifty yeah, other yeah. people. I apologize for keeping you, but it was a good conversation, though. Just know that I will be using this number to my advantage. And I will protect I you. Have it. I wouldn't have given you the number if I didn't, you know? But yes, right. that is Michael Simone's phone number that I believe I'm the only person who has. Thank Ray, listen. 
If I if I had a fucking bench, I'd give it to you myself right now. As that is how much uh, the things you have done for me lately mean to me. And I, I really do appreciate that, man. I hope you know. Yeah. I really do. Um, but I'll continue to do everything I can in my power. And it seems like for some reason I'm stuck in the middle of all this. Yeah, well, that's how it goes. I appreciate your I, time, all right? All right, gentlemen. Let me walk you out. Thanks, Ray. No worries, boys. I'm assuming there hasn't been any update with Better Life recently because of all this other shit going on, right? Yeah, not nah, yet. We'll get to Better Life, but yeah, this uh, we've the fuck had doing, zero McGregor? time over anything. Jesus. What's up, McGregor? <laughs> what are you doing, McGregor? I'm just chilling. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. Was, There's like, a lot of people here or something. Hey, Ray. What's going on, guys? Hello, Cassie. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Hey, Harry, can you drive us to Roosters? I just got to pee. Gee, I got my car here. Not Leave it here. Is Fuck it your shitty car. It's not shit. Come grab it whenever you want, Harry. We'll be here, okay? Thanks, Ray. All right, thank you, Ray. Thanks, buddy. It's, a, it's a BMW at the front. I got you, buddy. I'll see you gentlemen soon. Bye-bye. I got to call Speedy. Uh, give me a sec. I got to meditate after this room. Hey, Hola. Hey, Speedy, meet us at Roosters. I'll see you there. Shit, I am five minutes. I'm just doing a gondola at the ranch here. I've been there five. Okay, we'll come to bye the bye. ranch. We'll come to the ranch. All right. Yeah, All right, come bye. here. Bye-bye. Go to the ranch here. Uh, give me like 30 seconds.